Good Friday morning, everybody. We are finally back out here on this property where I have been, I've done a ton of work since last year, been over here working. We did the jungle pond out here and we've got to remulch that out again. Um, well, really just kind of more mow it. It's a little overgrown with just some weeds and small brush because uh, it hasn't been mowed since last year. But we've got to finish out doing some mulching work. And uh, so I got the 120 over here with the TMC Kinsella and uh, we're gonna take a look at what we got. All right, got the 120 over here, got the uh, TMC Kinsella. And like I said um, in a couple videos back, uh, my friends over at CCE Equipment just got two big container loads of these uh, mulchers in. Um, this one with the trap door for the skid steers is available. Uh, they've also got some for a whole range of excavators, small, medium, large. And they've also got some uh, for PTO tractors down as low as 50 horsepower. So if you've got a 50 horsepower uh, PTO farm style tractor and uh, interested in getting a mulcher for that, they can hook you up. I think they go all the way up a pretty good ways uh, from 50 horsepower on up. So they've got several, they've got three different models, I think, for PTO tractors. So uh, if that's something else you're interested in, as well please give them a call but we're back out here on this property um i've been working over here and mowing and mulching for a while we mulched out all of this back here behind the house all the way down i won't show you all of it but uh we mulched out all of this over here it was a lot of deadfall in here and uh brush and weeds you can see the grass is starting to come up in here real nice it's looking nice he's getting this taken care of but we got to mulch out all this really quick there was a ton of metal and trash in all of this i had to come in here with the mini and uh and the owner came over here and helped me with his dump trailer that was a nightmare getting all that metal and trash that had been dumped back in here uh by the prior owner so we got all that cleaned up i think i think we got it all got all that cleaned out so this has all just got to be mulched there's a bunch of big pines in here tree stumps this was logged about four or five years ago so there's a bunch of big pine stumps in there that we've got to mulch down and we'll get this cleaned up but yeah he's got it looking nice in here now we just got to get this part mulched down it should all come back as nice grass once we do it so um so yeah we got to do this section over here and then there's some more stuff over here on the other side we're going to mulch down too that he wants to take care of and then there's some other stuff back over there a few piles of stuff we're going to mulch as well so we got a fun day i don't know if we'll have a full day out here but we got a good bit of work to do so let's get it rolling
Well, my luck lasted about 40, 30, 30, 40 minutes. And it looks like we hit another bale of chicken wire. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I have hit several bales of chicken wire uh, mulching out this property. It looks like that was one we missed. What is that right there? Is that another something or other? Piece of fence. Yeah, growing between that tree. I'm not getting that out. I have to get that with the mini. Wonderful. All right, let me see if I can, I got the grinder with me. Let me go see if I can cut this thing out of here and see what we can do. Well, that wasn't as bad as I initially feared. I was able to just to mainly just roll that thing right out of there, luckily. Oh, I've hit I don't know, uh, countless bales of chicken wire in here. It's been a real issue. Hopefully that's the last one. I thought we got all of that crap out. Hopefully that was the last one. So fingers crossed. All right, let's get back to grinding.
Well, I've done it again. Hit another ball of wire. This is electric fence wire. The other one was chicken wire. And uh, I was going right to that stump right there and the grind it up i don't know how we missed it it must have been underneath the ground there a pretty good bit because i went right up to that stump and it it stopped the head dead and i thought it had sucked up a piece of wood or something and uh i didn't even hear it hit the metal but i've got some more metal over here i can't remember if i mentioned that or not but there's a piece of big c channel in there and some other metal so i'm hopeful i, I can get this little block done here today that little bit down there and there's a little bit of stuff over there on the other side and then i could i should have enough time to run and go ahead and go get the mini and bring it over here and uh for tomorrow because we're going to cut the uh the front of the jungle pond over there and get that cleaned up a little bit and uh i got to do that little bit that little bit yeah those two sections right there so uh hopefully i can get out of here to, to go get the mini so anyway uh let's see if we can't get this out and get back to work all right, I got that out. I got, uh, I didn't film that, it just seemed boring, but uh, took the grinder really quick, ground that out. Thank you to the owner for the, uh, the assist on that and helping me out. And uh, the owner's dad just brought us some lunch. Seems like every time I'm working out here, he brings me lunch, which is awesome. I typically don't really eat lunch too much, or if I do, it's something really small, but he brought us a plate of lunch, which was nice. So uh, really don't have a whole lot left to do here other than this just finish up this little bit here i can't like i said i can't do that that's got some metal in it there that little spot's got some metal in it there and that's got a big farm implement it in the middle of it right there too so really it's just this little bit here and that log down there and that brush bit of brush there and that little bit of brush there and uh i think we'll be able to get out of here and go get the mini and get it over here today so uh, let's get this finished up
All right, we're done for today, or at least I'm done mulching. I'm gonna go ahead and run, go grab the mini and bring it out here this afternoon. So in the morning, all I gotta do is come straight here. I won't have to mess with going back to the office and getting that. So we'll go ahead and get it out here. So I'll have a pretty much a full day out here tomorrow, get here about eight and I won't have to leave until about six, 6.30. So that should be plenty of time to get done what we need to get done. Basically just grub uh, these couple little sections out, make some brush piles, get the metal and trash out of them. Uh, grind down the brush piles, grind down a couple of stumps that are in there. Um, see how much of that he wants to grub out with that implement in there, but uh, I don't know. We'll probably grub all that out too really quick. And then I'm going to have to mulch all that with the, uh, with the mini really quick because there's a big mound of dirt and there's some uh, light poles back there and stuff like that. So that won't take long. We'll do the pond and... Uh, that should take long pond will probably take an hour or something like that and then we got uh i ground up uh, a few things over there on the front side of the yard an old pile of uh old saw wood pile and uh there's a burn pile i'm gonna grind up tomorrow and just kind of finish up a few things in here getting this look nice and uh yeah we're just about done so yeah it looks good all right TMC Kinsella did a great job in here today. The teeth are pretty dull. I need to sharpen them, but I figured we'd be grinding a lot of just old rotten stumps and stuff and stuff on the ground today, along with a little bit of small brush. There wasn't anything really super heavy in here that we were grinding other than the stumps. Some of those stumps were pretty hard, but for the most part, the teeth did a great job in here, even though being a little on the dull side. Even dull knives typically will cut better than carbide, so um still did a great job in here didn't have any problems with that so i'm gonna put some fuel in this thing before i leave and yeah that'll be good so again if you guys are interested in getting one of these tmc's for a skid steer or an excavator or a pto uh, style tractor um my my friends over there at cce have got them i'm we're trying to hook up uh maybe possibly putting one of these on a pto tractor here soon and uh seeing how that works have some fun with that so stay tuned for that that's in the works hopefully we can make that happen hey you get off my mulcher what are you doing okay i guess you're gonna hang out there but yeah hopefully we can get one of these hooked up to a, a pto tractor and have some fun with that that'd be a lot of fun so all right, I'm going to go grab the mini, and we will be back tomorrow with a lot more mulching and grinding action. Stay tuned, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye, everybody.